Hey everybody, it's August 15th. I'm in the forest in the Catskills giving you an update on the direction of this channel and what's happening in the world. I'm glad you're here. One. Two. I also don't give a damn anymore. If you read my community post, then you might have gathered that I'm pretty over this platform and what they've done to content such as mine. It's not just me. The entire climate realism spectrum is shunned and disregarded from the powers that be over at Google. Who cares about profits? This is not news. I'm not talking to you like you're a child. I'm just giving the facts that uh, I'm over it and I don't give a damn. I'm going to publish whatever I want now and I can care less about likes or view counts because after so long of trying to synthesize this information and convey it in a cohesive manner, which I've gotten feedback, I've done a pretty good job at, and maybe it'll be picked up on a few months from now or a few short years, because I don't see us having a stable lifestyle by the end of this decade, and you guys know that. I don't need to clarify that. But the point being, I don't care anymore about likes and view counts. It's just not worth it to base my well-being or mental health on validation. It's a major pitfall in human psychology, though not unfounded because we like to be liked, to be have friends and have a community. And it could not be a more sad place right now in society where we're basically isolated individuals, rats in cages and little boxes. We're not meant for this. It's one of the worst times in history in that sense. At least you had a community or people you could go to. Now all of you are spread across the world from circumstances like jobs and families. But it is like living with the Great Depression with smartphones. Given that the bottom 20% of income earners have not seen a substantial rise in income over the past 20 or 30 years, certainly not to match inflation and cost of living. What do you think that does to a society? It makes people in extremes and destabilizes. Okay, you don't need me to tell you any of this. I'm just giving you the state of affairs. It is dismal and we are beyond hopeless. No amount of wind, solar farms, photovoltaic cells, flyers on people's doors will change our faulty wiring and lack of free will to access that more critical thinking part of our brain. At least we can attempt, we could try to re-ascertain what our thoughts are, where they're coming from, what logical conclusion does it lead to? We have that ability. We don't exercise it. We're based off primal emotions like apes. We are the evil ape. There was no hope for us. We were destined from our crappy wiring and an inherent ability to lean into our id, our emotions. Not just here in the United States or United Kingdom, around the world, okay? Eight billion raging primates, worms, if you could say that. As a single entity species, we're like a half brain dead idiot, moron. Not to make this long, you know temperature records are being all over, broken over the planet. It only takes a smidgen of intelligence, one, two, imagination, which go hand in hand, to just extrapolate, project out a few more years. If it's gotten this extreme in the past four years, imagine another four years from now, and then another four on top of that. You will hate the fucking weather by next decade. You will hate your fucking life by 2040. And I'm done. You're done. I'm done. The IPCC was designed to fail. It's over. No amount of photovoltaic cells and wind solar farms will save us. I should reiterate that. Getting back on track, the emphasis of this video was to inform you the direction of this channel, which is whatever the hell I want it to be, because I'm over it. We're done. Live now. Enjoy this decade with people that share the same values as you, compatible personality traits as you, using the big five personality trait evaluation. You know, you don't want to hang out with someone who disagrees with everything you say or doesn't want to go out and do things or freaks out about the smallest stuff. You want to have an enjoyable experience, people that are even-tempered, cool, easily approachable, converse, have conversation, you know, can make up for all the dismal and shitty things in our society. Okay, so here's the message. I'm going to post whatever the hell I want, whenever I want from now on. You can unsubscribe, I could care less. Did you get that? It's gonna be whatever now. If I get 100 views, great. If not, oh well. We're fucking done, okay? 
no candidate will save us, no amount of social programming, overturning of the throwing of the government, remanufacturing of ships and vessels, nuclear submarines, airplanes. You know, we have a new missile now that can strike 250 miles. Chinese targets, air-to-air -air missiles from Raytheon, yeah. You know that new Nissan vehicle that comes out? No, I don't know it either, but they're making them. Did you know Coca-Cola just foregoed $15 billion of taxes? Can you imagine Heinz, Kraft, and the rest of them? Greed, everywhere. Bullshit, nightmare, fucking petrid, is that a word? Fucking hell existence is what we've created on Earth. It's baked in. We're at 560 parts per million of CO2 equivalent. And when you add up all the greenhouse gases, you can thank Dr. Elliot Jacobson for doing all kinds of math wizardry on that. Okay? Temperature records are not stopping. They have keep breaking. We're at 16 months of like over the record. Permafrost is melting like the Arctic is melting like crazy, uh, heating up. So it's exponential, abrupt and run away faster than any other geological event in history. Sixth mass extinction. Species are not keeping up with the rate of, of change. I'm not getting upset or fervent. I'm just letting you know because there's confusion. We live in the Great Depression with smartphones. It's going to get worse. We're fucking hopeless. There is no future. There's nothing to plan for past 2030. And I'm gonna post whatever the hell I want and I don't give, give a damn anymore about my perception or what I'm saying anymore because the proof is in the pudding. Extrapolate out a few years, we're fucking done. And I'm done. Have fun. Live now. I'll talk to you later. See ya.